Hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ. Today I want to talk about four different jig trailers that you need to basically do anything you need to in bass fishing. Stay tuned, it's going to be a good one. Alright, so let's get into it. If you know anything about me, you know that I love to fish a jig. And a lot of us like to fish jigs, right? A jig is just a great way to catch fish. And as we know, it's a great way to catch big fish. You know, I've actually done some videos on doing uh, just a standard soft plastic versus a jig. And I'm gonna do a lot more of those in the future. But we know that a jig, because of its bulky presence, it tends to get a bigger bite. And if you're a tournament fisherman, or if you just like to go and catch more fish, you should like jigs for that reason. <laughs> All of us want to go out and catch the biggest fish, the biggest bass that we can. But a jig is really not complete unless you have some sort of trailer with it. Now, there's a lot of different types of trailers out there on the market. So I'm going to talk about four today that you need and when you should be throwing them. So let's start with the first jig trailer that I use probably most of the time. And that is some sort of crawl style trailer okay this is a trailer that actually flaps when you're pulling it through the water the two crawls are actually flapping so a couple of the ones that i like to use um, this is a berkeley chigger crawl um, i like to use a strike king rage crawl a lot another one that's a little bit smaller is a zoom speed crawl right these are all crawls that have some sort of action that's pretty aggressive so i really like to use the crawl style trailer pretty much exclusively anytime after the post spawn and during the summer months during the summer months your water temperatures are pretty warm and everything in the water typically moves faster right everything's a little bit more aggressive because fish are cold water species they're just more active in that water so with that being said they respond a lot of times to a lot of action very well in during that post spawn and summertime so anytime after the spawn a lot of times i am going to use a crawl style trailer now the only time that i don't use that during the summer is when I'm fishing extremely heavily pressured bodies of water. Now, being from Ohio, I fish a lot of pressured bodies of water all the time. So in that case, I like to use the second type of trailer, and that's what I'm gonna classify as the bunny ear style of trailer. So this is just your typical chunk style bait, right? Now, when you pull this bait through the water, it doesn't have a ton of action, right? It doesn't have, Although it looks similar to the crawl, right? It doesn't have a ton of action. It doesn't flip and flop like this, like crazy. It just ha it just more or less, it just kind of glides through the water. And I really like to use this, this style chunk anytime I'm fishing in very heavily pressured water. So again, for me, I'm from Ohio. I fish a lot of pressured bodies of water, so I use a chunk style a lot. But I also like to use this one pretty exclusively whenever I'm fishing in colder water, right? We talked about cold water in another video. If you haven't seen that one, you can click on the link here. But in cold water, I really like things that are subtle and things that are slow. In a chunk style or rabbit ear style trailer, one that just kind of glides through the water is a perfect representation of something that is slow and subtle, right? It doesn't have a lot of action. It more or less just has the presence of a crawl. And I really like to use that in colder water situations. Now the third type of trailer that I really like to use on a jig is a boot tail style swim bait, like a Kitek bait. I will typically cut down that Kitek a little bit and I'll thread it on and that to me is a perfect trailer a lot of times when I'm fishing a swim jig. So if I'm fishing a, a, maybe around a lily pad field, maybe there's a lot of brim or bluegill in that area, I like a little swim jig with a Kitek trailer, right? I just, I like the way that it looks. And when I'm mimicking a bluegill, I really like to use that little Kitek trailer. This is a green pumpkin, it has a little bit of chartreuse. I also like to use this uh, on a swim jig when I'm mimicking a shad, right? And I'll use a white or a shad style swim bait on the back. So a lot of times when I'm fishing swim jigs, 
that is the trailer that I use, but I also use a lot of those flapping crawl. So when it comes to a swim jig, it's really gonna be a personal preference, whether you want the crawl style that has a lot of action or the Kitek swim bait style. Now, one thing you should know, a crawl style trailer, when you're using it as a swim jig and it has those two flapping arms, it tends to make the bait rise and stay higher in the water column than you'll get with a swim bait. So if you wanna get your bait a little bit lower in the water column, use the swim bait style, that Kitek style bait to get that bait lower in the water column. Hey guys, before we get any further into the video, if you're interested in learning how to get sponsors, click on the link in the description below, fishingsponsoru.com. I've actually created a small 12 minute video that actually tells you exactly my exact strategy on how I've gotten fishing sponsors in the past. And so if you're interested in that, click on the link below and you can watch that video on how to get fishing sponsors. Now the fourth and final jig trailer that I like to use is one that I think a lot of people don't really use a whole lot. It's actually a really ugly looking profile, right? And, and that's gonna be basically a Cinco or a fat trick worm, okay, as a trailer. Look at that thing. It just looks ugly, doesn't it? This is a very ugly jig right here, but I'm telling you what, it's going to get bit. And that's when I like to use this ugly, just either a Cinco style trailer, or what I have here is basically the larger, the Magnum style trick worm, okay? And when nothing else is working, when you can't get, when you wanna get bit on a jig and you can't get bit on the other type of chunks, this is when I like to use this one. And another time that I like to use this style chunk is in, is in Florida, okay? And specifically in Florida because Florida fish and Florida strain bass really like plastic worms and I don't know exactly why, but I know that anywhere I go in the country that has pure Florida strains in it, so that's mostly in Florida, but you also get those pure Florida strains in some parts of Alabama and even Tennessee. But in those places, worms work really, really well. Like a 10 inch worm works really, really well. Well, guess what else works really, really well? That's a big old nasty trailer on your jig just like this. Those are the four trailers that I like to use. Those are the four trailers that I use the most. And that's a crawl style, a chunk style, a swim bait style, and the good old ugly big fat worm style, okay? If you guys have any other jig trailers that you like to use, comment them below. I would love to know what you guys are using. 